Alright guys, it's your boy Harshsnipe51 here from Xbox 360. And what I'm going to be showing you how to do is open that Xbox right there. And that is the Xbox 360 S Slim. Alright guys? Alright, so how are you going to do it? Is, hold on a second. Sorry for that. Alright. So, on the right side it should be of the Xbox. Alright? Be on the right side. Let me, see, let me see if you can see that. See that little notch in between those? Right there. See how it can move like that? You're gonna pull that back and open it up towards the sky. That's how you move a hard drive. Put a new one in. We run out. Alright. Now this next part. You're cleaning your filters right here. All you do. Pop that off. Ha. You can clean now. This is only if your Xbox overheats. What you do. Is you put a little clip fan that attaches to your USB right over here. That little drawer. You plug it in. Take this off with a screwdriver through these little holes right here. These little holes. You unscrew them through there. You just pop them off like that. And they come off. Sorry that I don't have a screwdriver to show you but that's just how you do it. And then you run the wire under here and back through there. And it should come through here. And the wire should be right under here. Alright guys? And then it should come right to here. And then you get this USB fan and you attach it with a rubber band. And it wraps around and goes through that little hole right there. See that guys? Goes through that hole. Then you just clip it onto there and push and push the fan towards in there. And then that's how you just put a fan in. Pretty epic. Alright, let me just put this back on and then you just snap this back on. You can do one side at a time, or you can just do it all and just slap it in there. But I just did this whole side, I put them in, and I just snapped, snapped, snapped. And then to put this side on, oh, it gets tricky. JK, no, it isn't. You just put them in those little two pockets right there. See those little two pockets? Put them in there. Hold on, before I do this, alright, so how you take your hard drive out, this is going to be a bonus feature for this video, guys. Alright, how you take this hard drive out, put it back up on its side, alright, so what you do, is you see this little string right here, it says how many gigabytes you have in there, mine's a 250, that's how I bought it, haven't had it replaced yet, I only used about 100 gigs, um, so you have to see Mr. Floor. You just pull this little strip real nice and easy so you don't damage anything. See that? Pops out. Thought this was pretty fancy. When I did it for the first time. Yep. Xbox 360. S hard drive. Yep. So all you should see in there is just a bunch of uh, inputs. And there's a vent in the back that's uh, for your wires and everything that goes to that. And there's vents under your hard drive to cool your hard drive off so it doesn't get. Sorry, you guys can't see that.
trying to shine a light in there. Let me pull up my light. My light would come up. Alright, it's somehow not coming up, so let me just get one of my handheld ones. Um. Sorry, guys. Um, but I do not have a flashlight at handy. But all you do is just see some wires in there, you clean your filters out, just go in there with the blow dryer. Your mom, if you if she has a blow dryer or stepmom, sorry that I didn't say that, but just some parents have that. All right, and it says that you should not turn off or you should turn off Xbox 360 console before removing hard drive disk. Well, it says refer to user's manual. Well, that's not what you're supposed to do. You turn your Xbox off. Let it cool off for about 10 seconds. Then you just pop that bad boy out. Alright guys, that's your boy her sniper, and all you do to insert it back in, just put it through there, push it in there real nicely, hear that little pop, that's all you do, put, you d put this in, through the little two holes I said, and just push down, and then that's how you do Xbox 360 cleaning filters. See you guys.